Hey there, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot, weather and traffic reports for the week of February 26th, 2024. On the 27th and 28th, we've got Mercury, the Sun, and Saturn, all conjunct in Pisces, your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, intimacy, self-employment earnings, bonus income, and any kind of responsibilities or monies you may share with partners, be they business partners or romantic partners. And this is all about full stops and turnarounds. And there is likely going to be some kind of frustrating development where it is discovered that a plan, an arrangement, or some kind of commitment in one of these areas cannot go forward as it is. And it should not go forward as it is. This is a good thing to have happen, even though it will upset some people in your life or maybe even upset you. But it's important that we don't let things just kind of carry on because it might be stopping something from going over a cliff. On the 29th, we've got Mercury in Pisces, that eighth house, forming a beautiful sextile to Jupiter in Taurus, your 10th house of career, upward mobility, status, station, promotions, and raises. And this is going to be all about swift setups and switches. And when we have this beautiful link happening here, a lot of you may be in for some kind of special bonus or some kind of opportunity to take a road in your career or with an income plan to higher heights as made possible by maybe an associate or somebody with a special connection or some kind of link or resource that they are putting on the table for you to take advantage of. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Okay, Leo, let's have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot traffic. Just going to take the selenite off. It's been cleansing those cards. And we're just going to charge these puppies up and see what's in store for you. Money, work, personal path and well-being, irrespective of others, home and family, your love life, social life, friends and contacts, and of course, your personal path, uh, advice, your final thoughts regarding the themes of this week. So when it comes to money, you've got the page of wands upright, and you may be in for some very cool surprises when certain projects or little ideas start to become all the more substantial. The page of wands is all about important inv invitations and lifts and boosts coming your way that are going to help you take faster routes to accomplish a goal or to maybe open up doors you didn't know were there. Now, this could be something going on with an existing project 
or maybe an existing financial pipeline or something new that is put on the table for you to grasp and get down to work with. With the Page of Wands, though, we want to be ready to be social, we want to be ready to follow up, we want to be ready to engage, do our part, do the work, because it is something that will likely have a good payoff. For your work life and career, you've got the Emperor in reverse. And with the Emperor reversed, this week you might find yourself butting heads with a control freak or two. A lot of the times with the Emperor reversed, we see a control freak who either A, is kind of a despot, they're very tyrannical, very oppressive, very um, demanding, and just sort of always breathing down people's necks. This could be a boss, this could be a client, uh, it, or even a colleague. This doesn't even have to be somebody who has authority in the situation in any way. Or this could indicate the opposite kind of control freak, the kind of control freak that does so from the bottom, right? This is the frail, you know, baby brat victim that micromanages and whines and complains and needs everything to everyone to do everything for them, and yet at the same time they control from a pitiful space. This could be something that is not just a nuisance, though. This could be something that is threatening uh, a project, a plan, or a path, right? Both of those kinds of people can be cancer for anything that you're working on, even if it's just a schedule, a deadline, or something important for you and yours. So you're going to need to be ready to stand up, put up your dukes. For your personal path and well-being, irrespective of others, you've got the Page of Cups reversed. And so this week, you might find yourself in a situation where a lot of bad inclusions in your life are starting to show why they're bad inclusions. Bad inclusions could be people. These could be activities. These could be things that we have allowed to take up space or have given room to move or given free passage to do whatever. With the Page of Cups reversed, we have to pay close attention to unwanted energy, unwanted involvements, unwanted attention, all kinds of things. Because with the Page of Cups reversed, um, it, it's definitely you know a warning. Sometimes this is a situation where it's too many cooks or spoiling the soup, or it could just be one bad apple spoiling the bunch. Whatever's happening here, though, you've got to be ready. See where it's bad company that we're keeping somewhere that continues to manifest an unhappy situation, right? Because what we share space with does play a part. For your home life, home economy, your living situation, you've got the Ace of Cups upright. And the Ace of Cups is all about happiness, contentment, love, affection, and a lot of generosity at that. And a lot of you are going to be getting a chance to enjoy a change in trend, some kind of happy new beginning that is getting seeded this week. Now, this could be something coming because of an important gesture or development going on in a home environment or a family environment or with a family contact, or this could be some kind of gift or breakthrough that is starting to reshape your world. With the Ace of Cups, this is something that is going to be a new commitment, something that has a chance to become a new normal and a welcome addition or a welcome normal in your world at that. Uh, so be prepared. Uh, this is going to flow, however. This is something that's going to also have a collateral effect and other things are going to need to be ready to adjust for it as it happens. For your love life and romance, you've got the star reversed. And the star card reversed is all about good news that is unfortunately set for way down the road, or just a ways down the road, I'll put it that way. This could be a very important breakthrough in something that you've got going on with a partner or partner intended that is setting up a light at the end of the tunnel for maybe a relationship plan or a relationship goal where we've been kind of lost or puzzled. This could indicate some very important commitment or a date or uh, a deadline getting set that we are eagerly pushing towards and very happy to do so with. 
or this could be good news about something going on in your environment that is going to also be very good for love. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, this is likely going to be you getting a chance to start connecting with somebody that you may not be able to fully engage romantically right away this week. This might be something where it's like we exchange the numbers, we get to talking, uh, we start making plans, we get on a really good roll, but we might not be able to um, complete all steps this week. This might be something for as we go into March. For your community and friends and your contact list and you know even professional associates too, we've got the Seven of Wands reversed. And the Seven of Wands reversed is indicating here that there could be some trouble that comes up where somebody is trying to take the wrong kind of approach or strategy or intensity to a challenge, a problem, or a, a circumstance that they're trying to get a handle on. This is the kind of card that shows up where a person could be making it worse because they're clamping down, because they're becoming too aggressive or maybe even belligerent, letting their insecurities, their paranoia, their adrenaline do all of the thinking and not taking responsibility for fixing that about themselves. The issue that could come from this, though, is that this could be affecting other people as well, right? Other people in the group, other people in, in the circle, whatever is going on. And so we might need to be ready to talk this person down or, uh, you know, maybe get the situation in a place, in a, you know, get ourselves or the situation in a place where it's not affected by them. For your themes, your guidance, your final thoughts regarding this week, you've got the Four of Pentacles upright. It is time to know where to start being more protective more independent and also more conservative with the things that you normally yield or open up to other people. Now, it doesn't mean clamping down and, and getting paranoid and crazy, right? I would never advise that. But this is about common sense and then taking things to a place where we are playing more defense than offense. Sometimes we have to pull, all, pull our energies back, our activities back, our resources back where we have been giving them out too freely or putting them at risk. Play conservatively this week and you will do very well. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on and head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.